Hi there. Um, just on the team news, um, Ariola came up on Saturday. Um, is it a groin issue and will he be okay to start? Yeah, he's got a, he's hurt his groin, so at the moment it looks like he's unlikely to start. Uh, we hope it's not too serious, but uh, he's not going to be available for the game on, on so, Tuesday. So Fabianski to start, does that mean the name comes in onto, onto the bench? Possible. Um, are you concerned at all about um, you know, that situation with Fabianski, you know, you only fit senior keeper? Uh, no, I think that most most of the year we've we've had the same situation. You know, it's very rarely that you you always need three goalkeepers. So, uh, you know, unfortunately we don't see it being being something too serious. So, uh, he might be back quite quickly. Um, any other team news? Um, Naif again? Is he going to be okay? Uh, Naif's trained today, and uh, we'll see how how he is tomorrow. And no other injuries from Saturday? Not really. No, no. Got a little bit knocks here and there, and. Uh, We'll just need to see how they how they come through tomorrow. Saturday was obviously a really tough one to take. I mean, how hard would it be to get out of the system for Spurs on Tuesday? Well, it was very hard to take, uh, but we'll get another game. That's what happens. Football comes around very quickly, and we'll we'll get myself ready, get the players prepared, and, and ready to go again. Hopefully, uh, London derby at home will will get us on the front foot, and uh, obviously, hopefully, get the crowd behind us as well. People have been looking at that second Newcastle penalty again and again. I don't think it's a penalty. I think the I think Anthony Gordon places his foot. Well, if anything, I would say that uh, Anthony Gordon prevents uh, Calvin Phillips from kicking the ball forward, so he prevents him from doing that. Uh, I think it's a wrong decision. It must be totally excruciating given what happened at Aston Villa as well. Ah oh, well, we've had, uh, I could name a few others as well actually. Burnley, we should have had the penalty in the last minute. We didn't get it, so uh, we've we've had several at, at moments in time, but there's no point in discussing it as it's gone now. Yeah. You criticised the team's um, lack of toughness and togetherness on Saturday. I mean, how disappointing was that for you? Well, my critique was because I felt that we should have been much more physical, harder to play against in the in the closing stages when we weren't. Uh, I think the players would probably agree with that as well. We didn't we didn't do enough. I have to say Newcastle shooting down that hill at St James's Park is always a threat anyway. And uh, and that was the way it was. After the match, David Calvin Phillips um, was goaded by some fans waiting by the bus and made a gesture. I don't know whether you've seen it, but what do you think of that? Uh, well, uh, Calvin's a human being and can, can do things which uh, we all do at different times, but what he needs is support and... He needs support behind him. He needs people to help him. We're going to we're going to stand with him, help him as much as we possibly can. And uh, you know, obviously, uh, we need all our support to give all our players, whoever it is, uh, the support they require. How was Kevin feeling after Saturday? Well, he's fine. He's back training. We've all moved on from from the weekend. We've got ourselves ready. We've got a big game coming up, and we're getting ready for that now. Do you think his loan can still be a success because he's had quite a difficult season? Calvin Phillips is a really good player, international player, and uh, I do believe that he's uh, he's an excellent footballer, and I do believe we can still make uh, something out of the the time we've got left with him here. Yeah, eight games left in the league season, David. What, what's realistic for you now? Do you think we'll keep knocking at the door at, at Europe? We'll get an idea of in our head how many points we might need to get and how many wins we're probably going to have to get between now and the end of the season, but. Uh, We've got to keep at it. We were very close to getting a victory at the weekend, but we didn't quite get over the line. Tottenham is one of four London derbies remaining in the eight fixtures. How tough is this game going to be on Tuesday night? Well, Tottenham have, have done really well this season. They've continued to do well, so we don't expect to be anything other than a, a really difficult game. And, uh, you know, and just doing a great job with, with Tottenham, so... Uh, they've started the season, or started and maintained a, a good, steady season at the moment, and uh, hopefully we can we can get a good result like we did uh, against them at Tottenham. Yeah, what do you take from that win in December? Just the win we take from it. It's moved on. Everything's it's different now. You know, we're a different part of the season, but but uh, it was a good three points at that time in the season. Thanks, good luck on Tuesday. Thank you. Pieces and the consistency. Paqueta's also been outstanding. So, 
I think we're attacking plays been very good. I thought it was very good at the weekend as well. I thought some of the individual performances were excellent. Uh, so, really pleased those those players getting the goals. Mick getting another goal was really important for us. Excuse me. Uh, and I think all round, I think we were were attacking play in the mains been been pretty good. How has this affected Phil? Paqueta has been cautioned in four <coughs> last seven games for club and country. We've seen an increase this season of dissent bookings. Are there extra talks or focus for you when you talk to players about being a little bit more level headed, level headed, especially in this part of the season and you chasing Europe? No, not really, no. 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 I think we've just been disappointed with the officiating throughout the season. Um, Spurs' last win at the London Stadium was in 2019. As mentioned, you have the chance to do the double over the new season. Does this impact confidence levels going forward and show progress as your home form against these top sides? I think we've we've tried over certainly the last three or four years to to challenge the big teams at home. I've always said, you know, there's a lot of, lot of really really good teams in the Premier League with with top players, and we wanted to obviously get our supporters something to shout about. And I think we've won some big games at home. We really have. Uh, you know, we want to try and keep it going. We're, you know, we've got some games to come which are really important to us. This one's the, the next one, and it's very important to us. So. Uh, it's been the start. We're just back from international break. It's been the start. We've been at Newcastle now. We've got Tottenham, so uh, it's two two difficult games, but uh, but games that we're looking forward to.